This is not an issue specific to client first. This is not something that our system is creating. This is CSS. This is how it works. Through our system, we've now realized that people have to understand this concept as web developers. So let's now get into some of the problems that people were facing by copying these systems. If you use our clonable, it's all set up. We've already identified this and it, you just clone the project and you don't have to worry about this. But if you're adding our spacing system to our, if, we're, if you're adding our spacing system to an existing product, I will show you how you should not do it. Let's go and jump into this. I'll share my screen here. And first I'm gonna show you what not to do. And then I'm gonna show you what to do. And then we can even go through a, a different example that doesn't even have to do with spacing that you could just run into any website with any system. Okay, so we're on this build that we were looking at before, and I'm going to go in to the style guide page, and I want to now go and put the spacing system into another project. So I'll go into the classes here, and the first thing I'll do is copy the directions. This is wrong. I'm telling you what not to do here, and I'm going to show you that it doesn't work if you do it like this. So I will copy the directions and I will paste it into my project. Now I'm going to copy the margins. So now we're copying the sizes. We're copying the small, the medium, and the large. And I will do the same thing, paste it into the project. You would think that client first is now ready to be used. You can use these global spacings, but I will show you that it does not work. Let's go and add a brand new div block to the page. We're going to add our margin top. You can see everything is working as we would expect. We have this availability here on the top waiting for a size to be added. And when I go and apply that size, it's not going to add it to only that side. It's going to add it to all sides because of specificity. That margin large was added afterwards and therefore is more specific to the project. Specificity, more specific. The website is saying this is more clear to us that we should be adding all of these because this was added afterwards. So if you go and do this, the spacing system will not work. Now let's go and undo everything. We'll make sure that Webflow saves this. And now I'm going to copy the margins first. So we're not going to do the directions first. We're now doing the margins first, and this will be the first thing that gets into our style sheet. I'll give a reload just to make sure that we have a fresh, clean slate here of CSS in the project. And when I go to paste in all of the sizes and then paste in the directions, now it's going to work. So if I go down and add a brand new div to the page and I do my margin top like I did last time, we see the same outcome. And now with the combo applied, it works. So you can see that this margin top is now being more specific. It's allowing us to keep these zeros and let only this side come through. So that little tiny change, which styles come into the project first is so, so important. Now I'm gonna show you an example of something that has nothing to do with spacing and something that could happen in any project and just absolutely confuse you with what's going on. So I'm going to add my display none class. And this is going to be display none. Right, this is now a global, and now I'm under the impression that I can use display none anywhere in my project, and I apply it to a class, and it will make that element display none. But maybe not. Let's now go and add a background red. I'll just give it some size so we can see it. I'm going to apply a background color so we can see it. And I'm going to apply display. So I've now applied a display block 
to this background color red. Using global classes, understanding how classes work, my first thought is, well, if I apply my display none on top of red, it's going to be display none, but that's actually not how it works. If I go display none here, it does not work because of CSS specificity. Because background red was created after this display none, it is more specific to the style sheet, to the project, and it is going to keep this display. Now we will fix this problem with the FinSuite extension. Let's go into the extension. I'm going to go to the organize and CSS styles reorder. We added a big block of text here because we had a lot of people saying, can I do alphabetically? Can I do it by amount of uses in the project? And no, that's not what this is for. This is for issues like this. So let's look what happens when I actually swap the order of when these were created. Now the background red was created first and display none was created next. So I will save this. It's going to reload the project. And when we reload, this display none global is going to work. So let's look at this. We have our background red, we have our display none, and that is exactly the intended outcome. So this is CSS specificity, really, really nuanced. A lot of people don't know it. You don't even need to be a pro in Webflow to, to you don't have to understand this to be a pro in Webflow, but when you do understand things like this, you could start to take your game to the next level. So that's a really good example, seeing the spacing in our system and this really simple display none option.